بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رول اف ام ار اي ان ديفرنشيشن بين اندوميتريال هايبرميليزيا اند اندوميتريال كارسينوما ام ار ديفيوجن ذا اي دي سي ابارنت ديفيوجن كوفيشنت از انفيرسلي بروبورشنال تو سيلولار دنسيتي انكريز سيلولار دنسيتي ديكريز اكسترا سيلولار انترستيشيال فلويد limits the diffusion of water in diffusion weighted and lowers the EDC value. So, increased cellular density, lower EDC value. Increased cellular density, lowers EDC value, make it dark. Decrease cellular density, increase EDC value, make, him, make it bright. Diffusion weighted is a chain of T2, like T2 signal. In EDC, we subtract T2 chain. This is table for differential diagnosis of endometrial lesion by MRI. Fibroid being hypo signal in T1, hypo in T2, with contrast show slight enhancement will define endometrial polyp hypo hypo T1 T2 show intense enhancement endometrial hyperplasia hypo hypo T1 T2 show intense enhancement hemorrhage variable signal pending in blood degradation product stage no contrast enhancement Endometrial carcinoma, hemorrhage in endometrial cavity like hematometria, show no contrast enhancement. Endometrial carcinoma, hypo in T1, hyper signal in T2, show intense enhancement. Typical rating product of conception, show iso or hypo signal in T1, hyper signal in T2, show intense enhancement with contrast. It's highly vascular, a latent product of conceptions, like endometrial polyp, it show intense enhancement. A typical latent product of conception, iso or hypo on T1, hyper in T2, no enhancement. Endometrial hyperplasia and endometrial carcinoma differentiation by MRI Endometrial hyperplasia diffusion weight show low signal, endometrial cancer show high signal. Apparent diffusion coefficient show high signal in endometrial hyperplasia show low signal in endometrial cancer. Could endometrial cancer show increased cellular density? In T1, hyperplasia is hypointense. Cancer hypo intense or iso intense to normal endometrium. Carcinomatous tissue will enhance less than normal endometrium. Show intense enhancement endometrial carcinoma, but less than endo normal endometrium. T2 hyperplasia iso to hypo intense signal, hyper intense in endometrial cancer or heterogeneous relative to normal endometrium. T1 with contrast, carcinomatous tissue will enhance less than normal endometrium. Dynamic contrast enhanced sequence are good for assessing the depth of myometrial invasion and the delayed phase images cervical stroma invasion. Low signal on EDC map in endometrium usually is a sign for differentiated hyperplasia from malignancy. Extensive endometrial hyperplasia with no low signal in EDC map blind lesion such as endometrial hyperplasia and the endometrial polyp could increase EDC value by widening of extracellular fluid with edematous tissue and cystic component. So, benign lesions like endometrial hyperplasia, endometrial bulb show no low signal on EDC map. 
no dark on EDC map. EDC value of endometrial carcinoma significantly lower than those of benign endometrial lesion without any overlap increased cellularity in endometrial cancer limits the diffusion of water in diffusion weight and lower the EDC value. So EDC value differentiating benign and the malignant lesion low in EDC not low in benign lesion. Endometrial carcinoma impede diffusion for assessing the depth of myometrial invasion. D and C done three times that show a typical hyperplasia of the endometrium. Uterus is enlarged. Endometrial cavity appears replaced by mixed signal intensity area which shows in homogeneous post gadolinium enhancement and non-enhancing areas which are likely indicating endometrial hyperplasia. The second endometrium show areas of high signal in diffusion weighted no corresponding signal suppression in EDC map which may indicate T2 chain through. This is second endometrium show areas of high signal in diffusion weight and no corresponding signal suppression in EDC map which may indicate T2 chain through. This is woman with a histopathologically proven endometrial polyp sagittal T2 hyper intense mass in the endometrial cavity sagittal T1 with contrast mass enhanced lesions EDC tumor show high signal intensity so it's benign lesion endometrial polyp intense enhancement bright high signal in EDC so it is benign endometrial polyp Woman with benign endometrial hyperplasia, T2 should diffuse endometrial thickening and hyperintense cysts are seen in endometrial cavity. Sagittal EDC map. Endometrial cavity show a heterogeneously high signal intensity lesion. This is mean it's benign endometrial hyperplasia. Woman with endometrial cancer. T2 show hyper intense endometrial mass. T1 with contrast slightly enhancing lesion less than myometrial enhancement. Diffusion weighted image show hyper intense endometrial mass with myometrial invasion. EDC map show dark low signal. So this is malignant endometrial carcinoma. If this benign EDC map will show bright signal. Woman with endometrial cancer, hyper intense mass in the endometrial cavity in T2, tumor slightly enhancement in T1, hyper intense endometrial mass seen in diffusion weighted, EDC map is dark, sagittal EDC map image. MR spectroscopy role of MR spectroscopy choline water ratio can differentiate endometrial cancer from benign lesion in endometria or in submucosa mean choline water standard deviation was 3.02 plus 1 1.43 for endometrial carcinoma and 1.6 for endometria benign lesion in endometrium or in submucosa choline water increased with increased tumor stage and size thank you